Well, welcome to morning coffee or whatever you drink. I usually do an energy drink in the morning or some soda. I want the energy. This is Michael Crosby. And yes, I am a candidate for POTUS 2024. Now, there are a lot of people concerned about the future of the country. Now, I have brought out some incredible evidence. Evidence that is in the process of shaking the entire Democratic Party. To understand that the crimes that have been committed by certain high-ranking Democrats basically disqualify the entire Democratic ticket as it is. We have many people that were lied to. Their subordinates withheld information. They lied to people. This has happened. The reality of what I'm going to do for the Democratic Party is mind-boggling. The 14 RV starting fleet that has effectively been destroyed at this moment, yet we're tracking it on SAR. There is no escape since SAR can track everything down to a blade of grass. But money is needed to be able to recover items of national security from that archive immediately. Yet there are parties dragging their feet, refusing to involve themselves in rational communications and cut the check, turn over the money necessary to adjudicate, necessary to get those teams in place and retrieve these stolen items. These incredible acts of war that have occurred are something that have been recorded for all time in full 3D. That's right, full 3D. Because SAR sees a blade of grass. Most areas of the country that are populous have multiple SAR satellites overhead, which means in many areas, such as California, New York, we have a situation that deals with uh, multiple angles, where we have 30 to 60 frames per second from seven different angles. This means that you're looking at situations where basically 90% of an object, of course that would mean your person, your body, is being recorded in full 3D. And since these items basically have different frame rates that are not synchronized, we have additional frame rates. You're talking incredibly high quality data that is being produced well, basically, you can literally look at this as having a situation of upwards of 200 frames per second on any given object. That's any given person being recorded into the SAR data system. Unfortunately, there are various disruptions. When you traveling around, you're out in the field, you have a lot of disruptions when you are trying to, you know, basically put a cast together, you know, so uh, that is a bit of a problem, so uh, that's the quick apology for why there are interruptions and gaps and things. Uh, it's, it's very, again, it's very unfortunate, you know, I have so much college 4.0 and film and, and other uh, professional areas. And, you know, basically the disruption to me of the startup fleet, the first 14 RVs to start up that would get that million a day exposure, million people a day. 
that was a startup. You know, I'd scheduled to be to acquire a total fleet of basically a hundred RVs that were going to be traveling in key large cities across the United States. You know, and it's such a disruption, all of this insurrection, this rebellion, the violence, it's just horrible, you know. I mean, uh, getting shot at, you know, and I remind again, you know, I've had seven attempts uh, on my life uh, by gunfire in my life. There's many police officers that will go through their whole career that have not been shot at as much as I have been shot at. So this is, these, these, these items are disruptions, you know. To me, getting into all of this, my idea was working with the AI, working with the, the ultra-N general intelligence expansion categorism, and working with the high-end mathematical motivations uh, was what I wanted to do to deal with bringing us some of the best newly engineered concepts in everything from A to Z. Dealing with the tactical table mind, uh, this, this kind of, of material as it would be generated uh, was designed by me to look at things from completely different aspect angles. In many ways, the design material that I worked with is still 20 years ahead of where most, or actually virtually all, AI labs currently are today. The only difference is, is that they have huge buildings full of many computers to do what they're doing. And my designs basically now uh, are just being able to be utilized because they're just now starting, just starting to build those chips capable of doing what I was designing mathematically for the system that I wanted to put together. 2005 and 8, I was trying to get people interested into a mass economic software program to have a very interactive, very user-friendly system that would be capable of doing mass economic management mapping computations. And, and this is something that, that I felt strong about. And, and I would point out that there are many items that I've pointed out for over 35 years that are very important that were not accepted. Some of them still are not accepted, but continuously I have this, this massive uh, predictive analytical capability where I keep being proven right again and again and again. So, you know, it's better to go with the guy that's, that's, that's really the brain, you know. Um, it, it, it's really interesting because I, I wanted to repair America, repair everything. I have vast plans to repair everything. Education. Um, and then these are just, oh, my little fantasy plan. Now this is not some little fantasy plan, fantasy dream. This is hard work, hard engineering to be able to do this. And to have people keep destroying and attacking archives is a hindrance. So here I have all this material that people are seeing and they, they're, some of them didn't quite get it. They don't understand. This is the distraction my campaign is forced to deal with. My campaign is all about solutions, real solutions, real moving forward. So I have to say that. So if we track back to the SAR, the, the data system basically affords us the most unique options for security. And this data that's been generated for more than 20 years, it never goes away. It's always there. It's been generated by multiple nations. So there's this massive amount of SAR data that computers can rework through and come up with these incredible 3D models that are basically like stepping into a full 3D world. But of course, this takes a lot of computer power to do this. 
but now we're getting brand new chips, brand new computer type stuff that's going to be able to do that. And uh, it's already doing it at certain levels, but we still have resource problems. So the best security, the designs, items I've laid out from extreme SAR, AI combination to provide better security for the border, as well as intake, outtake, uh, long-term monitoring for safety, no escape policy for anybody committing violent crime. It's, it's by far the best policy. So as other people are talking about building walls and all this other stuff, the most advanced option was already previously designed by me. And I'm waiting for people, you know, to realize, you know, I feel like I'm patented and they're still trying to figure out how to cross the river. And I'm like, you know, I already did that, it's right over there. And by the way, you know, I've been watching you guys approach for 20 years to come up here. And, you know, I'm ready, let's, let, I'm ready to move forward, let's, let's do this. You know. And it's important because the data, the truth of all of this is never going to go away. The, the fMRI lie detector technology is at the point where willing witnesses, willing witness statements now turn into a brand new option. This means that women who have been raped, they're in a situation where it's he said, she said, or there are people lying about what happened. Now we have SAR technology that can be done with professionals present, it can be done respectfully, and all the fragments of key data necessary to prove that woman's statement as a form, a form of definitive truth, now are real with SAR data. This is basically, again, part of my policy. Uh, this is something that is going to have a monumental effect on changing the reality of what safety is and changing the reality at an individual level, changing the reality in prosecutions. It will bring sanity and stability to people who are lone single parties because as they were victims, now with, FA, with FMRI technology, they become a definitive witness telling truth. This is very important, very important to, to restore forms of sanity and stability to people's lives.